welcome back to my channel i am in ruchi street now in chennai in this video i am going to be showing you how to make a gaming pc Let's get started. First, the cabinet. There are mounting points for up to five cooling fans. On the front, we can mount two 120 mm or 140 mm fans. On the top, either two 120 mm fans or a liquid cooler can be attached. A 120 mm fan and a SMPS can be fixed in the rear. Let us see the SMPS. SMPS detail specifications NVMe stands for non volatile memory express it offers read speeds up to 3200 mbps and write speeds up to 1500 mbps yes we add a 10 tb sata storage we are using intel i5 7th gen processor clocking at 3 gigahertz it's a quad core processor that supports vr and 4k display technologies inside the box we have the user guide some rog stickers motherboard driver dvd rog cable labels 3D mount screws, SATA cables, note this stylish PCB with striking patterned design, angular heat sink and diamond cut main plates. This motherboard has abundant of various ports. This motherboard has ROG Supreme FX 8 channel high definition audio. It has dual headphone amplifiers with shielded audio which you can see here. This is the overall spec of the motherboard. This RAM consists of an aluminium heatsink for faster heat dissipation. Primarily, this memory is designed for high performance overclocking. Let us see the GTX graphics card.
inside the box we have the graphics driver installation guide Zotac SSD pamphlet This is the first time I am experiencing a high-tech graphics card. It has one DVI port, three display ports and one HDMI. It's a heavier graphics card. You can see the heat sinks, liquid cooling systems and other components jam packed. This is the power connector. The overall graphics card spec. It's time for assembling. Let's remove the front panel to mount the cooling fan. The two fans in the front panel is designed to suck air into the cabinet. Let us see how the DVD drive fits in too. You can see everything is a toolless design. Let us open the carton box. You can note the plastic studs which holds the hard disk drive intact. You can use this hard disk mounting bracket to mount SATA hard disks, SSDs, etc. Don't forget to fix the back plate before mounting the motherboard. 